Good evening and welcome to the 525 live show. We're here at the CCTV and Channel 17 annual holiday party and I am so pleased to welcome you here. We've had quite a year, 2016. We've had a couple of elections, we've had a lot of special projects and of course we've had hours and hours of free speech because here at Channel 17 Ch town Meeting Television, and of course all the channels that we serve you with community media on Comcast and Burlington Telecom, we are devoted to free speech. And now more than ever, this is extremely important. Of course, we are very happy because a lot of the time we spend with the next generation who are behind the camera, so I'm gonna have you guys come over here. I've got Sylvan and Ragav, and we have some special recommendations, some special recognition for Sylvan and Ragav, because you are a live show volunteer duo extraordinaire. So you work, yay! So you work on Wednesday nights, is that right? Wednesday yeah. nights? And you uh, come and help out. Talk about what you do here at the channel. Um, well, oh, we, like, we, we, um, we help out with the cameras and stuff. And, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> anything. so, we usually come in around uh, 4.45 or 5 o'clock before the live show to help set up and get the cameras running, uh, get the camera shots ready to go on. Um, if it's sunny out, we'll put up blockers in the windows so the glare won't affect the cameras. And we make sure the guests feel comfortable coming in, uh, coming on camera. Um, and so who are we'll the help stars? out the director yeah. of the live show who's in the control room over there. And then, yeah. yeah sometimes you direct, right? Have you done that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you do. I, um, I've directed it a lot of times, and, like, uh, it's fun. Like, he directs a lot of time, too, because he's, like, better than me. Well, <laughs> you're both, you're no. both got a lot of skills. <laughs> so I'm who are the most interesting? Joke. Yeah. Who are the most interesting people you've heard in the shows you've done? Any good ones? Um, I think, um, I forgot her name, Kat, uh, help me out here, so Sullivan, I think her name starts with that, I forgot her name, but she was talking about, um, the stay house and, uh, how, oh, Mary Sullivan, yeah, with her, she's here, yeah, she's actually she, here, she, uh, she here was, she uh, yeah, she was, like, so fun to work with, and, oh, like, good. and a lot of people were, but, like, she was one of the best, oh, awesome, well, congratulations, the two of you. You're fantastic. And uh, Sylvan, you are going to be a page. Is that so? You're going to get a little more involved in the legislative process this year, right? Yeah. Well, congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah. And so I can't wait to see you both back here next Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Thanks yeah. for all your work. You guys are fantastic. Thanks. Thanks. Love you. You're the best. The next generation, right here. Thank you. So we um, we have a summer camp that we do. Megan O'Rourke runs that, and actually Ragav and Sylvan and uh, Sylvan's brother Solomon were a big part of that. And we have the opportunity to work with these young people behind the camera and also during summer camp. And uh, next year in 2017, we're hoping to do some more documentary training with college kids, and uh, we really are very excited about, as I said, the next generation because critical media skills are, again, more important now more than ever. All right, so we have um, some other wonderful people. Arnie, why don't you come on over? Arnie Gunderson is one of our um, regulars here. And uh, how are you? Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you, too. Happy Christmas. Oh, happy Christmas and New Year to you. So was this a busy year for you? Yes, yes. I, you know, I was in Japan for a month and on and on and on. Yeah, and you guys have done a great job by us and, and uh, you know, covered our, our work through uh, Margaret Harrington's Nuclear Free. And uh, we've spread it all over the world. So, so Margaret, has been, she's sitting back there, has become an international celebrity because of your station. Well, the work that you've done in the area of really protecting us from nuclear power bad decisions in nuclear power is really remarkable because you've been able to provide the science behind the policy positions, right? Yeah, you know, that's important because we're not radical activists. We're radical because we know the science, and that makes us doubly dangerous. Yeah. And what's happening in Japan? What's the short story on oh, that? Oh, my gosh. Um, the inhumanity of the Japanese government to its own people is hideous. Uh, 
They are overexposing tens of thousands of children and hundreds of thousands of men and women just to get nuclear plants started so they can make some money. Wow. And it's really sad. In light of the disaster. Yeah, yeah I was there. And you know, if you can imagine, uh, from St. Albans down to Middlebury to the mountains, that's about the size of Fukushima Prefecture. And it's all contaminated and all uninhabitable. I went through a town like Winooski. The traffic lights are working. There's not a person. It's all evacuated. It's incredible. Yeah. It's heartbreaking. It really is. Well, thank you for helping to keep our eye and attention on this all important right. issue. Well, thank you to Channel 17 for doing all you do. All right. Thanks, Arnie. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. Well, covering the tough issues, that's what the free speech activists do here at Channel 17. Kathleen Swanson, how are you? Excellent. So nice gonna, to see we're you. We're going to get some of our free speech champions, bring them up here and have them talk to you. Yeah, um, Margaret Harrington would be awesome. We okay. just mentioned her. Okay. She'd be a really good one. We have some uh, great awards this year. Uh, Margaret Harrington is, um, as, as Arnie said, she's been doing Nuclear Free Vermont for a long time. Um, and not only that, but she's been covering a number of issues, including the Vermont gas pipeline protests. Here we are, that's the party. Everyone's sort of mingling, happily speaking. And, and that's, um, that's what we like here. We like people kind of getting together and having fun because we really need to be getting together and sort of feeling the, um, you know, Sylvan, that other light doesn't work, so you can turn them off. I think that's fine. Turn them off, that's good. There we go. I tried to fix it. I didn't get it fixed today. I tried to be an electrician, among other things. And, uh, you know, we have a really wonderful staff here. We have Chris Weersima, who's um, our director. And we've got Ned McElhaney, who came to us from Burlington College. He was an intern. And uh, we were really able, happy to hire him. And then we have Kim Vilmer, who is our master control operator. And she's really quite something. And then, of course, Dan Higgins just walked in, which is just fantastic to have Dan Higgins here. He's one of the founders of CCTV. Now, of course, um, Channel 17 um, covers live covers meetings for seven communities across the region, and uh, we're hoping in 2017 to bring more of those meetings to you live. And we have Ibnar here. Ibnar has got wonderful Hi, show going how are you welcome thanks for coming I'm crunching on a couch. i you, know you me in the mid well you crunch and i'm gonna find your beautiful award that we made for you oh, thank you i know i'm looking i'm looking but here it is oh, best wow. all-around engagement Ooh, awesome free speech champion 2016 wow. tell us about your show Ibnar. oh goodness um well we've been on for um over a year now trying to count the months but anyway more than a year yeah. and um, we're, we're, we have guests on the show local poets and local musicians and um, um, it seems to be catching hold I'm, I'm glad that uh, CCT has given me the time to get it rolling uh, more guests are coming in and uh, more interesting um, um, topics and diversity in our in our show I think so I look forward to it every single month, and I'm so happy to. Um, this is a real honor. Well, we really appreciate the effort and thought you put into that program, and so we like yeah. to recognize our really Thanks, fantastic Lori, community Lori. producers. So thank you so very much. Thank you, too. It's so much fun. Yeah, best for 2017. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, we're right? look, looking up. All right. All right. Thanks it's a lot. Warm fire. Oh, yeah, I it's know. I know. It's <laughs> nice, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh yeah, we love our warm fires here. Thank, thank goodness for YouTube and warm fires. So I just want to also let you know that if you have any requests, particular programs that you think would be great for us to be, and issues that you think would be important for us to be paying attention to in 2017, we want to hear from you. Um, that's important to us. And of course, we encourage you always to come and borrow the equipment, come and be a live show volunteer or a community producer, and uh, get your hands on the equipment, easy to learn, and uh, take it out and get people to tell their stories, because that's really what weaves our community together in a meaningful way, is the stories that we tell each other. So we have a number of awards. I'm just going to let you know kind of who they are, because we're not going to see them all tonight. But we have Margaret. Margaret's here somewhere, and eventually maybe she'll come over. 
We have four young women for Muslim Girls Making Change, and uh, we've recognized them for Best Youth Program for Social Change. Lena Ginawi, Kiran Wakar, Wa Adam, and Balkisa Abdikadir. And they have um, done some great programming here. We really appreciate that. Alex Lavin, who is, um, he is a new producer here, and he gets the award for most enthusiastic field producer. Enrique Balcazar, who is with Migrant Justice, who completed a program last month and put enormous amount of time and thought into it and really got a lot of people to watch it. So we gave him the Best Practice New Show Award. We also have Mark Utter who does a, a, a really marvelous show with assisted communication. And uh, his award is for expanding minds and hearts with innovative communications. If you haven't seen Mark Utter's show, I really encourage you to see his program. And then um, we have James Giroux. And James Giroux has, um, week after week, for the past many, many years, hi, Oakley, um, produced a program on the arts where he goes out and he shoots and he edits and he's moved from analog to digital. And uh, James is one of our most reliable producers and uh, we really um, rely on him, which is fantastic. And then there's Zach Rhodes, who, who <laughs> he's great. He has got a new Fresh Communications. That's what we're giving him an award for. And Sandy Baird, who did one of our most popular programs this year on the history of the Electoral College. So we're really grateful to all these community producers and all the people that work here. Hi, Margaret. Hi. Welcome. Nice to see you. Thank, you. thank you so much for all your work. Oh, thank you very much, Lauren. It's, yeah. it's such a pleasure to be here at Channel 17, the Center for Media and Democracy, because free speech is needed now more than ever, as we saw in this last election year, how horrible it was. Well, yeah. and free speech is really what knits people together of all different opinions so that we can actually talk out our differences rather than resort to other means. What other means were you talking about? Sure. <laughs> Let me warm my hands on the fire here. <laughs> well, I think what the other means I mean is that if you cannot um, kind of let the steam off opposing political ideas, people sometimes resort to violence. And, exactly. and disrespect and you know we need to create an atmosphere of civility and openness to take all the ideas that there are and be able to talk about them and think about them and share them in a way that you can't do on commercial media. Yes well I feel that the shows that I've done about uh, the nu nuclear free future about the, uh, the, d the horrible danger of uh, nuclear weapons and nuclear power and then the shows about the fracked gas in Vermont uh, are valuable, give valuable information because the guests are knowledgeable and unfortunately the guests in the frack gas issue are people who have been uh, displaced from their homes because of the frack gas pipeline coming in from Vermont gas from the oil sand, the tar sands of uh, Alberta and uh, unfortunately the last uh, the last uh, demonstration they had down at Gepreg Park, they did that in union with the uh, Dakota Pipeline protest. And uh, they got some attention from the media, they got attention from here, from Channel 17, and, and they were on my show, Focus. But uh, attention has to be paid to the people who are, they actually are losing their homes because of this, because they can't live with the frack gas pipeline coming through their property. And the politicians are not giving them support. The, the local politicians are not giving them support. And the, uh, our, uh, our, our national our senators and, and the uh, representative Welch are not giving the frack gas people support. And there is a vi big problem with the Public Service Board and the Department of Public Services regarding that. And uh, so that when you, when you listen to the people who are in the know, you, you find out a lot and you can see that we're in, in a very bad state. And uh, I have to draw attention, I have a, a wound on my face because I was hit by a car here in Burlington. I was in a crosswalk and uh, I was just crossing the street and somebody went through a stop sign. And uh, I mean, if that, and, and then they didn't stop to, uh, to give me the information, insurance information and everything like that. So on that level, people have to, to shape up and be responsible, uh, accountable, uh, to, accountable each to, to each other. And that's 
part of what Channel 17 is, is doing. And well, so we wanted to recognize your coverage of the Vermont, Vermont gas line, Vermont gas oh. pipeline protests and all oh. the work that you've done. Thank you very much. On behalf much, of these Lauren. issues. Thank you so much, Margaret. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're a free speech champion, <laughs> not just in 2016, in all the years. Oh, thank you so much, and thank you, Channel 17. Thank so. you. <laughs> thank you, Margaret Harrington. Woo! So, we um, are having a nice time here at this party. And uh, we would take your calls, except the phone has disappeared. Not quite sure where it is. But we have the lovely Sylvan behind the camera. He's got some, uh, what do you got in your pocket there? You got something. He's got his snacks. Oh, I thought you had your snacks in your pocket. And um, I'm, you know, I'm just wondering if anybody wants to come and be interviewed. But, of course, they're all sort of having such a great time. So... I think what we're going to do is we've got the idea about the um, awards. We got Sylvan here. I got Solomon. It's also walking through the room. And I want to thank everybody for all your support here at Channel 17. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, stay tuned here. Do you want to interview me? All right. Rogoff's going to interview me. All right. There we go. Hey, everyone. Hey. Um, you make a lot of TV, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. You're so... So what do you uh, Shows every day. What do you like to do uh, in your fun time? In my fun time? Hey, that's a really good question. I like to, <laughs> I like to organize things. <laughs> it's all right. You keep chewing. It's all right. I like um, I like to swim. I like to do yoga. I like to sew. I like to go out hiking. All right. Okay. I know you've got if you're gonna like. There we go. Awesome. I like to do all kinds of things. What do you like to do in your free time? Make YouTube videos. Yeah, where can people find your YouTube videos? Uh, on YouTube. Do they have to look anything up? They just look up a regap. Yeah, what? they just have to look up uh, a regap Oh yeah, okay. And um, what do you do here at Channel Seventeen? I am the person in charge of making sure that everybody's well taken care of. So I'm the executive director at CCTV. So I kind of just look out after everybody, make sure we have enough money, and make sure everything's going the way it should be going. Why do you like to do this job? You know, I knew that I had to work in free speech from when I was really young, it's sort of like you. Like I had a pretty good idea of what I needed to do and what path. So I, it's for me, it's not even a matter of liking it or not liking it. It's just what I do, which is this important work, which helps other people be able to get their voices heard. And um, you know, I have like certain political views that were shaped by being a young adult in. Uh, Burlington and I was um, here when Bernie Sanders was mayor and so I feel that part of what we're doing is part of a tradition of progressive values that are also really important to continue and that's what this work is part of. So when you want to ask her a question? I think I'm good. Good? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. You see that guy that's standing over there with the vest with the gray hair? The gray hair in the cup? Could you bring him over? Yeah, that would be awesome. We'll have Dan Higgins, who's one of our founders, come on. Yeah, that man. That would be great. We could do that. Television calls. Television calls. The fire, isn't it nice? Your Yule log. Thank you, Dan Higgins. You look glamorous, and I like the the holiday touch on your microphone. It's a good holiday touch. Yeah. So, um, how was your 2016? 2016. Blur. I just lose track of n the numbers, you know. It all kind of blurs. You get retired, and if people say, how's your weekend? <laughs> oh, I don't, weekend, you know. Those things don't mean a lot. So, 2016 is just a continuation of, I guess, all the numbers. I don't, I don't break... I don't break into small compartments uh, time anymore. It's That's just... Fantastic. It's, it's more like time is the, the present. So you spent some, a lot of time in our sister city, Puerto Cabezas. Are you going back there to Nicaragua this this winter? <laughs> I'm hoping very much to be back there this winter, and it would be great to bring some people from Burlington. I've got about four people that have expressed interest. We have a number of people down there that we can connect with their counterparts, as you know. Yes, yes. We haven't gotten you down there no, yet, but I we've, haven't we have yet. had some of your staff and some of your uh, your camera people down there. That's right. That's right, Solomon was down there in port. Um, so 
Uh, it was, this would be probably a February, March time period, which is a great time down there and not such a bad time to be out of Vermont. Exactly. So. And there have been, you know, you've been going down how long? 25 years almost? Ooh, more than that? More 30? More than that, you know, but it's it kind of blurred. I think I first went in 1986. Wow. So it will be 30 years. And there have been a lot of changes. It will. Because I do count in small increments, so I can make that math happen. You, you are good at that. <laughs> One of the changes was when we first went down there, if you wanted to contact someone in Burlington, you had to walk over to the Catholic priest's house, and he was a ham operator. And he would connect with a ham operator in the States who would place a phone call to Burlington and hold the receiver up to the radio microphone. And that was how you communicated with Burlington. Wow. And then, and then one, one day, and again, I don't know where in that spectrum, everyone had a cell phone. Wow. They skipped landlines. Okay, totally. <laughs> That's amazing. And they're connected. And has being that connected changed their culture? Oh, yes. Yo, yeah, yeah, they're all, it's like here, they're all on their, on their phones. Yeah. You know, the idea of face-to-face -face contact or the idea of drifting, which I like, which is you just get up and you say, I'm just going to walk the streets and see who I run into. Mm -hmm. And you always run into whoever you have to run into, but you run into other unexpected people. Well, with the cell phone, there's no unexpected. You call the person that you want to find. So it's like the, uh, the loss of the library cards in the library a little yeah. bit too. Well and it's also how we watch um, consume media. We go to the, just the thing we want mm -hmm. as opposed to drifting around and seeing different ideas. I don't know and I think as far as I drift a lot. Do you? Well you, you drift. have an open mind. But you click you know, on TV you watch something and you click and you jump and you yeah. I think there's some drifting. I think I have completely stopped watching television. Well, like I don't actually watch television anymore. Well, you've, you've moved on to, uh, well, you always were way ahead. Of, what I like about going back to Puerto Cabezas is I, I have a few skills that are still relevant. Um, <laughs> which, which, which gives me a sense of accomplishment, you know, and I can talk about things that I'm comfortable talking about that are new to them. Uh, but I get kind of lost in, in some of what's discussions over here yeah but it's wonderful to see your christmas party thank you and our and our fire it's kind of nice your fire is yeah don't get too close to that no it can burn, it can burn up <laughs> i know you like fires too so you're probably not so convinced by this one <laughs> i like outdoor fires yeah i do you know, I, it kind of scares me they're awfully close to those curtains <laughs> <laughs> Flames. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> uh, happy, what is your, your anniversary? 80, well, 84. This well, is 32nd year. Next June will be 32nd year. Yeah. 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 And for Channel 17, we started in 1990, so this is the 26th year of Excellent. Channel 17. Excellent. So it Excellent. might be time to go into it's, retirement. It's been a glorious history. It has, and you were there always. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Dan Higgins. Dan Higgins is my mentor at UVM, so if you can believe that. And we have Erin Malone, who is our board member. Erin Malone, how are you? Hi, Hi LJ. How's Hi, guys. Everything? So I have Great. something for you. I have a... Um, awesome! So um, we had a big W from Woolworths. You want to hold that up? Yep. And uh, we put that W in Erin's new Willard Street Market, which is also Momo's Market. So it could be a W or an M, depending any yeah. way you want. You can come and visit this, the corner of North Street, North Willard, 141 North Willard, right? That's uh, absolutely right. We're open all the time. So just come by. Exactly. Check it out. Exactly. So you wanted a little historical context for the W. So that's, there you go. Yeah, absolutely. You can absolutely. put that right there next to the... Next to the w, w, so everyone knows what it is. Exactly. Um, it's not everybody immediately recognizes that because this is kind of an icon. An yeah, arc. When did it come down? Well, that's a really good question because it doesn't have a year on there, but it came down probably 20 years ago, would Late be my 90s. guess. Yeah. Late 90s. And that nice. was a great store. Didn't you? Well, you grew up in Essex, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you went, you went to Absolutely, that. Absolutely. I remember. Right? An institution. Yeah. A real institution. You could, they had the um, place to eat. Yeah, that's when people see the W and recognize it. That's the first thing they talk about is the, um, lunch, counter. the lunch counter. Yeah. Yeah, and then they talk probably about the pet shop part with the goldfish. Anybody mention that? Um, no, not yet. <laughs> not till right now. <laughs> that's where outdoor gear exchange has all its secondhand oh. stuff. But that was uh, that was the the pet shop and the I think you know other utility things. But I remember the fish tanks and that's the blue. Awesome. You know the blue background and the little bubbles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I, Woolworths was great. It's too bad we don't have any stores like that around Burlington anymore. You know, the kind of utility yeah. stores. Yeah, there's not really any. Um, and it's funny to think about uh, Church Street and the commercialization, and you're like, well, actually, it kind of was commercialized even then for yeah, 50 years, right, by Woolworths, yeah. a national brand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, thanks for being on the CCTV board. Oh, uh, you're welcome. It's it's good to serve the community. <laughs> I think uh, now more than ever, it's important to support free speech. And uh, CCTV has all the, the programming and the access to different community members to learn kind of whatever part of uh, what's going on, whether it's government or organization. So it's an excellent resource. And I think it's good that we represent a lot of different points of view. Absolutely. Absolutely. And or uh, just unbiased representation of what's fact which is often boring meetings that are really long that aren't edited but the truth is in there the truth is in there if you can stand it <laughs> well thanks so much thanks lg all right aaron happy holidays guys thank you thank you well thank you so much we're just really glad that you could be here with us today and um for all of you out there i'm thinking of dale tolatson in particular happy christmas happy new year's and thanks for watching and thanks for being part here of channel 17.